All right, folks. It's the NBA playoffs here on YouTube. Second round matchup between the Houston Rockets and the San Antonio Spurs. All right, now, now I I want to make sure that I say this in this video, and I want people to understand where I'm coming from. Okay, you got Kawhi Leonard, and you have James Harden. There's a bunch of other stars in this series. All right, I'm gonna get to them, but you have both of these guys being considered for the MVP all right I'm gonna tell you right now within the next few minutes of why probably not even that long I'm gonna tell you why James Harden and why Kawhi Leonard why both of these guys cannot win the NBA MVP which by the way it should have already been given out I don't know why they're going through this whole big you know this big hurrah with Drake this after uh, after the the, the the NBA Finals and all this other stuff. It's just a waste of time. Just give it out to the players during the playoffs. Let the fans appreciate them. Coach of the year, all that good stuff. Let the fans appreciate them. But no, they got to drag Drake into this and all this other garbage. Like, you know, like like when I think about basketball, I don't think about Drake. All right. And this is not me going in on Drake. This is just me saying that I'm just sick of the association with it. Just sick of it. I understand you're a fan, but it's, it's okay to fall back a little bit. We don't give a damn. Real NBA fans don't give a damn. All right, so let me let me let me get back to the whole why Harden and Kawhi can't be MVPs. And I know that like I know the Houston fans, I know the Spurs fans gonna come to this video and they just gonna dislike it because they think that I'm hating. All right, but if they listen to me long enough, they'll understand why. Okay, nobody can deny what I'm about to say. If you take Harden off of that team, if you take Kawhi Leonard off of the Spurs, okay? If you take both of these guys off their respective teams, both of these teams still probably finish where they finished in the playoff race. I'm as bold as anybody uh, will ever say. I'm just going to I'm going to say it again. This is and this is another reason why I really can't when somebody says LeBron's the MVP. I kind of laugh inside because I'm like, you know, they got Love, they got Kyrie Irving, they will probably still finish second in the East. All right. When you talk about MVPs, Russell Westbrook is the undisputed MVP of the league because the Thunder without him don't even make the freaking playoffs. They probably finished 10th in the West without him. OK, they don't even come close to being to succeed in, in the Western Conference Finals without him. All right. That's what you measure up as an MVP. These two teams. All right. Are deep enough to the point where they can still finish second and third in the Western Conference without Harden, without Kawhi Leonard. So let's just go ahead and put this whole conversation to bed about Harden for MVP and Kawhi Leonard for MVP. Russell Westbrook is the undisputed MVP of the league this year. Stop arguing about it. There's no debate. None of that. All right. I, I took about, like, what, three minutes to say that? All right. So let me get to the rest of the series, okay? You got coaches on the, uh, you know, uh, for the respective teams. You got Popovich and you got Dan Tony. Now, Popovich has got the championship uh, pedigree. I mean, the guy's a super motivator. And then you got Dan Tony, who I don't know if he coaches defense whatsoever. I don't think that he does. I don't think that defense is in his coaching strategy. I think that the best defense for Dan Tony is offense. All right. And when you watch a Houston game, it's like a track meet. Like these guys just kind of chuck shots up. And when you got shooters, shooters will love playing for a team, you know, for a Dan Tony coach team because all the, because they know they're going to get about five, six shots a game. You know what I'm saying? So that's the coaching matchup. I'll give the advantage to Popovich. He has the the coaching pedigree. He has the championship pedigree. Why wouldn't I give it to him? Um, as far as like bench plays go, um, can I say push? <laughs> can I say push at this point? You got Patty Mills, Ginobili. I know Ginobili's getting old as hell. I, I keep saying that. But, you know, the Spurs got a solid bench with, they got Paul Gasol coming off the bench. He's been remarkable. So they've got solid players coming from, coming from off the bench for the Spurs. And then for um, the Rockets, they have Eric Gordon. They've got Sweet Lou Williams chucking up shots. They got Nay Nay dunking on people. I mean, it's like. You know, both of these teams, when it comes to the bench play, that's probably going to be the big difference in the series. You know, in the series, 
is how the bench plays, you know, uh, how they kind of perform against each other because everything else is just kind of evenly matched. Both of these teams match up really, really well when it comes to pace and everything. Everything just kind of matches up well. The difference will probably be Popovich and D'Antoni and how their philosophies um, influence or affect the games. But, you know, the bench plays are very, very even. I'm running out of time. Let me get to the let me get to the key matchup in the series that I want people to watch out for. All right, this is a very 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 close series. All right, but I want people to keep an eye on the key matchup between Kevin. Uh, I'm about to call him Kevin, Trevor Ariza, and Kawhi Leonard. All right, that's it. All right, if Kawhi Leonard runs wild in this series on on Trevor Ariza, it's going to be over really quick. All right. Trevor Reason has to show up, not just offensively, but defensively in this series for the Rockets to even have a smoking chance of beating these guys. And he's been really silent so far in the playoffs so far. Granted, it's only been one series, but against the Thunder, he was almost like a no-show. He has to show up in this series in order for um, in order for them to go on. All right, We know what Kawhi is going to do at this point, but we don't know what Ariza is going to do. And Harden can score, you know, 50 points, and they can still lose to a team like, like San Antonio. I mean, it can happen. All right. As far as who wins this series, all right, I'm just gonna be real with you. Like, Houston has all the weapons to to upset the Spurs. They have it, but there's just like the Spurs just have something. They just have another level that they go to. All right. They have another level, and it looks like they're not doing too much, but they just have another level that they go to to smash people, all right? I think that they find that level early and often against Houston, and, you know, I think that Houston can maintain or win two games in Houston or maybe steal one on the road. If they can steal one on the road, they can win the series, all right? But I'm going to go with the Spurs in about six games, all right? If Trevor Reese no-shows the first three games, it'll be over in five. Because there's only so many times that Harden can chuck his head back and go to the free throw line and keep his team in the game. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be honest, all right? I, I came here for honesty. I'm here. I'm I'm honest. All right. The music is gonna cut me off, like right now, almost. So let me know how you guys feel about this series between the Rockets and the Spurs. Let me know how you guys feel down in the comments. This is the NBA playoffs here on YouTube. And until next time, folks. Peace out.